What's up, YouTube? What's up? So, uh, here we are. We got Corbin. I brought the baby boy. We're headed out to uh, some public land on Texoma. So, we brought out our rifles today to see what we can come up with. We don't know that we'll see anything, but we're going to try. So, he decided last minute. I mean, last minute he wanted to go. So we went ahead and got all his gear together, and got him suited up. So uh, we're gonna head on down there and see what we can come up with. We were out here, what, three weeks ago? Two or three weeks ago. Two or three weeks ago, Corbin and I, we came out here. We got scoffed. Sorry about the, the camera, the road pretty bumpy out here. It's some rugged land and we spent three days out there. We backpacked in. And we just saw absolutely nothing. So that third day, we decided we were going to pull out. And uh, we hiked our butts all the way back out. I've seen zero deer. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to another side of the property. Uh, that I've been told people have seen some deer. Some of our friends have gone out there. Uh, and they've seen deer. So we're going to go out there and see what we can come up with. Uh, we're after pigs, deer. Most importantly... We're after a good time. So we're going out there to have an adventure and, and just enjoy ourselves. So if y'all want to uh, come along, stay tuned. We got more coming. So as you can see, we got camp set up. Got the little man with us. Hi. Go get the other blankets on. Back, right? Yeah, bring me the sleeping bag, yeah. Sleeping bag. What? We'll take a couple of these bricks. Mm -hmm. We'll put them in a the tent for the heater to raise it up so we don't burn the mm -hmm. climate tent. Yeah. Yeah, Stop putting them in the in the tent. Okay, just throw them in there. When you eat taco casa, duty calls. Duty calls, yeah. It does. Alright, so we've split our ways. Got my rifle. I was walking down this trail. Let's see. There's a deer track. Right there. Alright, so I've moved a few locations. Moved a few locations around. Just been moving around here slowly. Listening, just watching. So far, but it's it's kind of it's kind of quiet. I've seen a few squirrels, but that's about it. So, Whew. all right. So I walked up about I'd say a good hundred yards from that creek bank. I up on top of this ridge, and I just sit up here. Make it 
shit is a deer today? Or a pig? mud and they scratch themselves on these oak trees and you'll see a lot of these trees out here a mark stained red like that yeah it's from all the the pigs rubbing it right so we're checking these gullies to see if we can uh jump anything out with the wind hopefully we find a deer in one of these let's continue on just keep following along like that and you'll find the trailer soon okay just go that way finger and you got all these different benches that run and all these fingers that drift off into these and what we found back here is a lot of the tracks were filtering right through the bottom of this creek right here now we have really really fresh hog sign we set up with the wind the wind is kind of north northwest so we set up because we think these pigs are somewhere back up in here and we're hoping that here later on they come back in and they drop down in to these bottoms so we're gonna sit here we got the wind in our favor we got a couple hours before dark so we came in as quiet as we could we found some deer track not a lot but we did find hog tracks so fresh hog tracks. say what fresh hog tracks Some fresh hog tracks so we're gonna sit here the rest of the afternoon and uh we may get up with enough time with enough light to kind of uh hunt our way out of here and kind of run up through the back and back around to where we set up camp back there We're only about three quarters of a mile from camp, maybe a mile. I haven't checked it, but we're not too far from camp. I ran a mile before. Yeah. Apparently this guy's thirsty. He's drinking all the water. That's fine, Daddy can make more, so. But these fingers that comes off of there, you can see three 
four different fingers that are coming off and leading into this bottom so I was actually hoping we were going to sneak up in here and uh, possibly shoot a pig out of here just because it's kind of windy today so we figured do what? That's what we've mainly seen, so. And we a lot of fresh ones. We have seen some fresh tracks, but we're going to get quiet and uh, see what else we can come up with out here. It's a beautiful area. So, like I said, we're hoping these pigs come out of one of these little gullies and just meanders right in. So, they could be bedded down in any one of these trying to get out of the wind, so. At any point, there could be a buck or a hog that comes out of these these little corners in these draws that are just, I mean, there's so many of them. It's super thick back here. Our wind is good, so, I mean, we could even catch them maybe perhaps walking along the edge of these, these saddles like this, or rather fingers, I guess. But it goes all the way back. There's just... And I couldn't even count maybe 15 of them, it seems like, that funnel right into these bottoms. So, what we may do on the way out is take just right behind us here. There's another draw that's just, it goes back out. We may take this top and see if we can't jump something out of the bottom of, of these. I know our wind's not good to walk this side, but maybe we could bump something up. Uh, pigs I'm pretty quick at knocking them down so we brought out hooks rifle today didn't we son because if we see a spike and we can set them up on it we're gonna shoot it anyway daddy done tagged out so hooks the only one that can spike shoot now I, I took me a spike, uh, we a spike last weekend I'll, I'll post pictures of it y'all can see that I shot that on a different piece of public land I shot that one over in Wise County, so it's a pretty nice area over there as well. It's just we wanted a rifle hunt, and out there it's bow or shotgun. So we came out with the rifles today, and uh, we're gonna camp out and try again in the morning. So we'll get back to you. All right, so Huck and I, <clears throat> we changed where we were sitting. We were uh, we were up there. We're further down a couple hundred yards and the wind uh, it wasn't hitting right for there it was pushing right down into those draws so now that the thermals it's getting cooler it was dropping so we decided to pull out of there uh, because just about anything that would have gone down into that draw would have would have hurt or uh, smelled us so we backed off, got the wind right again. There's some bedding just to our west here. We found a couple buck scrapes. They look, they're a couple weeks old for sure. We found a, uh, quite a bit of deer poop. So here, I'll give you a look at what we're looking at here. So we, we're hunkered down. And we can see in pretty good ways. But their bedding is back in here. And we got a ton of trails that are coming out from these bedding spots and they're leading out to a main trail back over here and that was the most concentrated sets of deer poop that i have actually found this year so um we decided to pull in here with the wind right we got I'm pretty sure there's bedding back there too, but we're we're just counting on that he's up here and going to walk out this direction. There's a water hole back here. There was a lot of deer, uh, doe tracks and a lot of poop on that trail. There's a lot of uh, trails that come into that one and we're kind of sitting south of those. And the wind's hitting us in the face due north, so the way we wrapped in here we came around 
to hopefully not get any of our our wind in here so we're hoping that these bucks are bedded down inside these little gullies to get out of the wind and when they come out we're going to see them right here so we're going to sit here the rest of the afternoon and see what we see we'll let you know so we got the the wind block up the fire we got core molar chopping on a tree Huck behind that smoke, giving him a hand. I can't believe how dark it is in there. I can't even see in there, but I can with my phone. That is absolutely crazy. Back up in here, I can't see it all. Tell you what, this camera is. Yeah, no flash on. I can't believe how bright it is. I can barely almost see Corbin and what makes the sky look light as can be and it's dark. It's pretty crazy. We got the fire going. We didn't get any deer or hogs for back straps, so we're eating leftover Taco Casa burritos and some tuna I brought. So oops. That's all we're gonna get for uh, for tonight. <laughs> we'll get something on the way in tomorrow. But uh, so today, just a recap. Today we uh we went to two different areas out here, and uh, well, we did. We found a fair amount of of hog tracks and deer tracks. We also found. A uh, couple scrapes out there, nothing fresh, a couple weeks old for sure. Um, but the deer sign, um, there was quite a bit of it now. There was one section out there that I found. I wish I'd have got that on video, but Corbin just flipped on his butt back there. You all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All that for that chunk of wood he's carrying back to the fire. But, uh, Back to what I was saying, we found a spot back there, Huck and I, that uh, there was a heavy concentration of deer poop in this, you know, this one area, probably, I don't know, maybe 200 yards or so. We found it now, also again, that deer poop was, uh, that was probably two days old. So, I mean, it's there's tracks everywhere out here in camp, uh, along the roads, um, tons of deer tracks however we haven't we haven't put eyes on anything but they are here so tomorrow i think huck and i are going to drop down into this straw and and uh walk the top of that as the thermals warm up try to walk that edge to see if we can see anything in there it's real thick and i think a majority of hunters are actually going into these trailheads and the tracks we did the exact same i wanted to see where they're where they were headed and a majority of them were headed in the same direction. So we veered off and went away from those. And that's where we started finding the deer sign. The hog sign uh, was away from those areas that we could see. Clearly there were some hunters hunting that area. So as we ventured over, I don't know, probably about 700 yards uh, to our west, we landed up finding all that poop and uh, the scrapes and the deer activity. You can see they've been there. There was some tracks that were for probably last night. Uh, but a majority of the tracks we found back there were at least two to three days old. So we know there's deer here. Um, it's just now a matter of locating them. It's really, there's a lot of leaves. So to try to sneak up on something, it's almost virtually impossible in there. Even in the wind, uh, it was still quite loud. So uh, it's I highly doubt we're gonna sneak up on anything, but if we can get in there early enough I think what's happening is where they're coming out. They're bedding back up into the private land back here And they may be coming out at night and then filtering back in to the back side of that private. So uh, a majority of the trails were leading from there into our place. So um, We didn't see anything here uh, so I'm assuming that's what's what the case is. They're bedding down on that thicker backside. So we're going to try to get up in there uh, in the morning and hopefully something's coming back to bed 
and uh, we can sneak up or it sneaks up on us and we get to place a shot on them. But uh, if not, that's fine. We're out here for the uh, for the activities. Morning, y'all. It's uh, December 4th. We, uh, we hunted yesterday. We had our game plan all mapped out and what we were going to do this morning. And uh, turns out uh, Mother Nature had their own plan for us. And uh, that was to pack up our camp as fast as we could because uh, it started raining. it's raining. So we, we all looked at the forecast. It's, it was 20% chance and some rain, maybe not rain. And so when I hear 20% chance... Uh, that's 80 percent chance that it's not right right Should be. so here we are and uh guaranteed 100 percent right now it's raining so we just got packed up <laughs> just in time before the heavier rain <clears throat> is starting to come in but we gave it another shot so we try again huh yeah. what do you think huck did you have a good time yeah we didn't get to see nothing but we had a heck of an adventure didn't we yeah heck of a hike you think, Corbin? Oh, yeah. Any last words for the viewers before we take it on down to the house? No, I mean, it's just... Let's give them a view of what we're looking at right now. Yeah. She's rain. And last week, well, it was a couple weeks ago, I got rained on pretty good. And I don't feel like doing any 40-degree weather. It's pretty cold and... I do have uh, two Stearns uh, water suits back there. Rain suit. Hug don't have one now. So, but yeah, <clears throat> I guess we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. So, head on back to the house. Maybe we'll see a deer on the side of the road walking and then we'll track them. Maybe. We had something strange happen last night. Yeah. I could hear something walking back here. <clears throat> when I took my head out of my sleeping bag and, and looked up, or brought my ears out to get a better hearing of what I was hearing, I saw a light hit the outside of our tent. Now, if you knew where we were, we're in the middle of nowhere. Ain't nobody, if anybody was out here, they'd be camping. They would have a spot, and there is nobody out here. Uh, and... I know what I saw last night. Now, it was hard for me to go back to sleep. I came out and I looked and I didn't see anybody. I didn't hear anything after that, but plain as day, I know what I saw. I saw a light on my tent and said from the outside hitting it and you could see when it panned away from the tent. And that's what, uh, what got me. I was outside the tent looking for, you know, whatever it was, maybe somebody needed help. I don't know. Either way. <clears throat> I didn't find anybody out there, so that was kind of strange, wasn't it? Yeah, it was real weird. And we did tell scary stories last night. Yeah, we did, but scary stories don't typically Exist. result to a light on your tent, son. Yeah. So, that was just weird. Anyhow, we're going to get out of here before we get the truck stuck back here. It's it's uh, It could get pretty nasty pretty quick. It already yeah, looks, it like already it's looks nasty. all sloppy already, so... We're gonna go ahead and get this truck on out of here. I don't have a doubt we'll make it, but we'll have an adventure doing it. Peace. Peace. Manny B Outdoors. Like, subscribe, comment, share it. Share it. To everybody. Everybody. Your so mom, uh your grandma. And we thank you for watching.